News is heating up about 5G, the ultra-fast wireless technology that has the potential to connect everything from smartphones to self-driving cars to virtual worlds. The race to 5G is moving forward at full speed. AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile all say that 5G technology is at the heart of their new corporate strategies. It will allow us to do all kinds of stuff like streaming your favorite videos up to 100 times faster. But the fifth generation of wireless connectivity has spurred a lot of rumors about its potential, some of which are less than accurate. We're going to separate fact from fiction and walk you through five of the biggest myths about 5G. While 5G networks are expected to be up to 100 times faster than current 4G networks, it doesn't end there. 5G is being marketed as a platform that will enhance the user experience of many different technologies and devices. Take this 5G robot on display at the 2019 MWC trade show in Barcelona. It can serve you a coffee. The current 4G network just isn't nimble enough to operate a machine like this. So the robot itself is now an avatar. It connects to the cloud over mobile network. In addition to serving coffee, 5G is expected to make it possible to automate more manufacturing by improving the efficiency of machines and allowing humans to work alongside them with augmented reality headsets. What makes 5G unique isn't the amount of data it can send at a given time, but rather its low latency connections. Bandwidth measures the amount of data that can be transferred at a given time. Latency measures the speed of communication between two points. 5G promises low latency connections, which could be a game changer in a range of industries. For example, analysts think the data could travel almost instantly, maybe even fast enough to mimic human reflexes, which could help doctors perform remote medical procedures. Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network aims to do just that. Low latency is crucial for things like surgery because the response time has to be immediate, it has to be real. While the technology hasn't been widely deployed yet, the idea is that 5G would allow a physical therapist to help a patient recover their range of motion after surgery, or allow students at research hospitals to watch remote surgeries in near real time. The low latency also helps increase point-to-point -point communication for driverless cars, as seen with this self-driving bus that was on display at South Korea's 2018 Olympic Games. 5G connections will allow automakers to transmit large amounts of data at speeds far faster than the current generation cellular service, which could allow vehicles to talk directly with each other on the road. Like 4G, 5G is set to kickstart a wide range of innovation in the mobile field. But it's also making inroads into many different industries, including entertainment, construction, and even farming. Agricultural manufacturer John Deere hopes to use 5G technology on its farms, as it could allow equipment like tractors to communicate with other machines on the field much faster. The company said 5G could allow a skilled operator to run multiple machines simultaneously and facilitate real-time data capture and decision-making. Over time, 5G could theoretically replace 4G, but that's at least decades away. That's because 5G requires new infrastructure, clusters of antennas that are closer to the users. This will likely take years to install across the country. And while most of the major cell carriers have already started to roll out 5G, they've only started installing it in some major cities, meaning 4G isn't going anywhere in the near future. This brings us to our final myth that 5G is coming soon. This is only true for people in certain areas of some big cities. In the US, one of the first countries with 5G services, many of the major cell carriers, including Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile, have announced plans for nationwide 5G coverage. We're planning for a 5G future that covers you from coast to coast and everywhere in between. But so far, these carriers have only deployed 5G in large cities with high population densities. T-Mobile customers, for example, can expect 5G access in at least five cities, including Dallas, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and New York by the end of 2019. But since providers are focusing first on bigger cities, the launch of 5G services could take many years to reach rural areas across the country. And many rural areas in the US have yet to even adopt 4G, meaning a nationwide deployment of 5G technologies could be a long way away. 